thank you very much for watching and welcome to Sharpness. This is right at the very end of the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal and you can, if you were brave enough, go out onto the River Severn here and travel all the way down to Bristol. Instead, I will be returning back up the Gloucester and Sharpness to the city of Gloucester. Sharpness is one of Britain's most inland ports and the tidal range can be up to 10 metres in the spring. Originally there were no port facilities here and boats would travel up the canal to the city of Gloucester. I'll hopefully make a single turn at the end of the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal in front of the entrance to Sharpness Marina. Passing through the giant columns that once supported the Severn Railway Bridge, I'll head north towards Purton. This short stretch is the closest the canal and river get to each other and on the banks of the river is Purton Ship's graveyard. At Shepherd's Patch on the western side is WWT Slimbridge. This is home to several wetlands and decades of conservation have occurred here. You'll often find the resident swing bridge operator at Cambridge Arms Bridge out with his binoculars, spotting wildlife that has strayed from the wetlands. Heading nearly north again, I'll moor up just past Splat Lane, which is at the southern side of the village of Frampton on Severn. I featured this village in my first Gloucester vlog over two years ago. So I've turned around right at the end of the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal at Sharpness itself. There's a big, wide area, expanse of water there, so you can turn around really easily. Um, lovely days cruising ahead of me today. In 1909, the riverbank between the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal and the River Severn partially collapsed. There were serious concerns that there would be a breach. As the canal has no locks or even stop locks due to its width, if there were a breach, the entire canal would drain out, making it completely unnavigable. A whole range of boats throughout the British Isles was brought in to be deliberately beached. This would create a makeshift tidal erosion barrier and reinforce the damaged bank. Eventually 96 vessels ended their life here and it's the most extensive collection of maritime artefacts on the foreshore of mainland Britain today. The boat graveyard is free to visit and is accessed via Purton Lower Bridge and a short walk along the towpath. It makes me laugh. 
it's just like on the roads. I'm going quite fast, a lot faster than I could do on a canal. And of course two cruisers come along and they overtake me. There's no point really because just around the corner here we all have to wait for the bridge to open. Just like you have to wait at traffic lights or at a roundabout or something, but still. Here at Purton Bridge, there are two swing bridges, very, very close to each other, and they're both operated at the same time by the same Canal and River Trust staff. There's no mooring allowed in between, so it just means that you've got to make a quick hop between the two, because obviously the roads are closed and people can't walk across. With regards to speed on the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal, because it's a very, very deep canal and very wide, there's a huge expanse of water. And you hear the engines of, especially sort of the older narrowboats, and you think, oh gosh, the boat's gonna rock all over the place. Because hearing that sort of sound on a canal, you would have things falling out of cupboards. Gloucester and Sharpness, doesn't matter. People bomb up and down, especially the huge two, three, four tier uh, large cruiser boats. They can go really quite fast. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really affect the boat. It's purely because of the expanse of water and it just dissipates in that expanse. I don't know if you can remember, but the first year of having Alice, I brought her down onto the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal. Now, I use Google Maps and the satellite view to remind myself of where to park, where I can moor up and things. And the really strange thing, I was looking, I was zooming in on, on Google Maps 
and I thought hang on a minute that looks like my boat and yes it was just actually where this other boat is is where I first moored up and Google satellite up in the sky has taken a screenshot of Gloucestershire with me moored there now yes you often see your car sitting on your drive at home or even at work but if you take your work and your home and move it around the country every two weeks it was quite surprising to actually see my boat moored somewhere so this is Splat Bridge just down the road from Frampton on Severn Personally, I think this is an absolutely fantastic mooring spot. You've got lovely views across the River Severn. Um, there's a car park at Splatbridge itself and a lovely village to walk down and through. There's a cafe there, there's a pub there and a really well-stocked shop as well. Um, the guy that operates the swing bridge here is really nice. Uh, it's just a, a fantastic place to moor up for a good couple of weeks. I want to thank Stuart Aker from Charleston in South Carolina in the United States for his journey with Jono support. Also I'd like to thank Andrew Rizzo who has chosen the top tier of Patreon. He is from two states north of Stuart in Virginia. Thank you both of you. In the next vlog I continue to travel north on the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal to the city of Gloucester and I discover a stone that is said to have magical powers. Until next time, see you later.